the scholars, the students, they know they are my why. They are the reason why I get up in the morning. My dad is the physical education teacher here for the elementary kids. We're kind of like a father-son duo. You got to be able to concentrate. Focus, focus. You got to be able to focus. You got to be able to concentrate. Let me see you do dribble, dribble. Dribble, dribble. And you're going to go dribble, dribble, cross, and then pass it to me. When I was in middle school, I felt that history wasn't important. A lot of students, a lot of people feel that way. So I became a history teacher, and I'm like, first thing I'm gonna do is make this exciting. I'm gonna make it fun. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Montiel! As you already know, today is Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, the year of our Lord. Yes, that's what's up. Hey, um, you all are in sixth grade history class. If you're not in sixth grade, then what? You're in the wrong place. And does someone have a joke? I got you. Ryan, you want to give it a try this morning? Okay. What do you get when you mix elephants with swimming? You you get a swimming elephant. No, you get swimming trunks. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. Okay, we're right back into our lesson. Let's go. Listen up. Mr. Cottingham is really cool. He's fun and he's disciplined at the same time. Again, all you have to do is. Label the 13 calendar. He's brown, just like me. He has locks, and I just feel like I relate to him. This should take us less and less amount of time. This should take us. What I find interesting about the subject of history is learning about things that happened before me and how it can impact today. Me too. I'm already telling the scholars that in a couple weeks, you all are going to have the opportunity to vote for class officers. I want to make sure when they all are of legal age, they're all registering and they're all participating in that election process. Sixth grade is, is a, a funny year. Uh, hormones going crazy. They don't know if they want to be an older person in the seventh grade or they want to be still mommy and daddy's baby in fifth grade. I remind them every single day, you're not going to pull a fast one over on me. And if you're having bad days, I'm probably having the same bad day as you, because we come from the same place. I already see them maturing. We should be able to go outside. We need to have our freedom sometimes. I tell them every single day, your parents, your guardians will be so proud of you. You, right there. Ryan Razul. What is there not to, to love about the kid? Ryan is a leader. When Ryan talks, everyone listens. So. If somebody does something good, we're going to say, show them some love. I'm going to say, show them some love. We're going to go like, all right, three, two, one, show them some love. Show them some love, show them some love. Three, two, one. I started an organization called Little Hands. The purpose of my organization is to empower all the kids across the world that have basketball dreams. We don't just focus on basketball. I talk to the Little Hands kids about making the right choices in school, being a good person, being kind, and listening to older people. All these can help you get smarter and get better at whatever you're trying to do. So can anybody else tell me what that means in your own words? Saying that and meaning that you care about other people and be kind to people. That's OK if you mess up. Mistakes make you better. Messing up makes you better. You can always go back stronger. When I was two, I was diagnosed with brain cancer. And when I finished all my treatments and I survived and I became older, that's when I realized that every day is a blessing. I value life more. I hop out of bed ready to get started, ready to do something positive. Before I ever became a teacher, I was a security guard at another school. I overheard a teacher saying that she didn't like a student. I couldn't understand it. 
Those same teachers didn't show up for work. So now I'm filling in for them on Mondays. I'm filling in for them on Fridays. And then you fast forward five, six years in the future, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to be the best version of a teacher I can be. I'm going to be the teacher that just continuously pours into them. So this line shoots? I think that's where me and Ryan, we are similar, because I can see the love in that young man. Some kids don't have the same support as me, but they do have me. And I want to give them that support that they might have been missing in their early childhood and give it to them now. To quote, you know, Whitney Houston, I believe the children are the future. I do, and I tell them they have all the power. I encourage them to go be great, and I want them to be better than me. My history teacher does talk about that a lot, and one thing he does say is either you're going to make history or you're just going to become history. I do want to make history, definitely.